What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jays392 back with another one. Today, I got something special, you know, um, for those of you who've been following my channel know that when I first started looking for a Hemi, I wanted to get an RT Challenger. At the time, I thought I was going to be content with that car, you know, with the powertrain, the amount of power that it has, and, you know, uh, also the fact that it was a Challenger, but one thing led to another, I ended up getting a scat pack wide body. And I'm very happy that I made that decision, but I've always had this curious um, interest in knowing what the 5.7 was capable of, because I never actually drove one myself. I've been in one, I've, you know, I've felt people drive it, but when you, you have the wheels in your hands, it's a completely different story. So I finally got an opportunity to do so with my friend, um, his name is Braulio, he's not really a YouTuber or anything like that, but he does have an Instagram if you want to follow him. Um, but he's letting me drive his car, and we're going to basically compare the difference in power and also the other things that come with the scat pack that don't come on the RT 5.7. You know, because I think a lot of people give the RT a lot of flack for no reason. Um, I, I still think it's a good car. It has a big V8, <clears throat> a good amount of power, um, and, and, you know, decent torque, especially because of the large displacement. You're going to get a good amount of torque. And you can also mod those cars pretty well, better than you could uh, a 6.4, you know, you could argue for the amount of money that you spend. But people give it a lot of flack for no reason, and I think um, this video will help people understand what uh, the differences are, and, you know, don't give it so much hate. Like, there's nothing wrong with, you know, the different levels of power that Dodge offers with the cars. I mean, every car company does it, so I don't understand why it's such a big issue with um, Dodge and other American vehicles. It's just a weird thing that they, you know, people want to hate. But I think it's completely uh, unnecessary and unfounded. So we're gonna go meet up with my boy. We're gonna check out his car. I'm gonna show you, the, you know, a little bit in and out what he has. We're gonna talk about the power numbers of the vehicle, what it's capable of, what it has equipped, and then we're gonna give it a little test drive so I can compare the differences between the two in terms of power and handling. Well, there it is with the wicker bill. Hellcat rims. Okay. Black on black on black. All blue with the scat pack hood. All right. My man got the king. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Got the five seven. Got the red carbon fiber on the interior. Real simple with the with the fabric. My man got the custom steering wheel with the lights on and everything looks real nice, real clean. With the suede. I like it, I dig it. Let's pop the hood real quick. <clears throat> Five over there, you got like, like a little venom carnage thing going on. All right, there we go. See, it doesn't have that ugly VA 5.7 cover that comes with the with the RTs. As you can see, he got an aftermarket intake, which I'm not really too keen on those because of the fact that you get heat soaked from it open and closing. But yeah, there goes your 5.7. Yeah, heavy without the cover, and I like it this way a lot better. Trust me when I tell you. And you already know this thing is big and it pushes a lot of power 370 horsepower, 395 foot pounds of torque with that big displacement. Made it to an eight speed automatic ZF eight speed. Uh, it's pretty good transmission, can't complain. Also got a mid muffler paint and upgraded uh, exhaust. It's upgraded to the scat pack, which basically means you go from 2.5 to 2.75. Um, but this thing sounds mean. I'm gonna let y'all hear it in a second. driver's seat 
of the RT. Let me just give it another rev because that shit sounds so sexy. Ooh, look at those lights. <laughs> Uconnect system is the same, nothing special there. Just no uh, SRT modes or anything like that. You got sport mode and everything, simple stuff. If you want to add the SRT modes, you can always add the taser and it'll give you pretty much everything. The SRT modes, it'll give you line lock and everything like that. And you could like make the lights do some funny dances, like if you want it to look like you're a cop. Or if you just want to stand stand out from a crowd and just put a whole bunch of crazy light show. The, the taser definitely does work for that. You just got to be careful because it doesn't mess around with the computers. But all right, let's uh, give this bad boy a test drive real quick. First time driving an RT. So I'm gonna take it easy. I don't wanna use the car. Very loud. <laughs> Off the bat, I can tell that the Suspension is a little different. It's a little stiffer because it doesn't have the um, then the coilovers. BC racing coilovers. Oh, it has coilovers. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That's also another reason. It's lower because usually charges have like a bouncy, like a soft, like, like you're in a uh, what do you call that? Um, a Lincoln Town car, like how the taxis yeah. used to be back in the day. Ah, good old New York traffic. I love the steering wheel though. It feels like really, really high quality. I don't know if I want to get one of these, but at the same time, I kind of do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go right back. Okay, go. Nice little straight. It, there's a difference, but it's not like there's anything to complain about. Like that, that's that's good power right there. That's a good amount. The noise is what really makes it feel like it's super fast, though. That, this exhaust is crazy. <laughs> Can you hear the music when you when you when you driving? Yeah. Yeah. That's damn. Cause my my Coachella song is for that. You only hear the exhaust? Yeah. <laughs> Before I used to, yeah. not now, because I did the, you know, the, the sauce, um, mouth of the leaf. Yeah, oh man. get pulled over just for that sound, bro. Yeah. At least you probably think you're going crazy. You're not even really going anywhere. I'm doing 25. They did that. This when I bought my when I bought the car. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take it. I gotta go to court for that. Because of that, damn. Yeah. If you want the full power, you need to put it in. Manual? Yeah. Gotcha. Paddles? Gotcha. All right, let's see what she got.
tell off the bat, the handling is about the same. Um, the brakes, you can feel that they don't hit as hard as the, the carbon ceramics, because they're, they're just a lot bigger. But in terms of power difference, yo, honestly, you're probably not even going to feel it. Because the Scat Pack, yeah, has 100 more horsepower and, and like 80, 80 more foot pounds of torque, but it weighs a little more and that car just doesn't hook. So you're going to be slipping before you even get any traction. And before you know it, you're pretty much going the same speed. Yeah. So it, I always tell people, if you're gonna go from, if you're gonna go up from a 5.7 and you're gonna stay with Mopar, just go to a Hellcat. Cause you're not gonna be satisfied with a Scat. You're gonna get used to the power in like a week and then you're just gonna be mad at yourself that you committed to this car with all this money. Now, when you when you hook up the steering wheel, did it give you any issues or it, it, it worked perfectly fine? No, it didn't, it works perfectly. You just gotta know how to do it, you know? Yeah, of course, of course. You can the RPMs, you can change this from kilometers to M MPH. Yeah. There's and different modes right here. Just a, oh, it's all the time. So, okay, yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, okay. And it gives you all that information, that's yeah. cool. But you got that oh, over here. Nice. That's like got the Seattle Mate. Um, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. That sound, that V8, you can't get, you can't, you can't get over that, bro. That's, that's something you can't get used to. It's just, it's just the greatest thing in the world. And they're trying to get rid of these. They're trying to make us drive cars that don't even make a sound. <laughs> I only got a V8 for the sound. Exactly. And then now they're trying to. Dodge is giving us another car, the Banshee, and it has a button just to make a sound because they know that's what we want, but it, it sounds like garbage. I'd rather just be silent because I'm going to go eat. Yeah, but yeah, the power is very, very similar. Very similar. And it comes on the same way. And I got to say, because it doesn't have all that crazy torque, you don't have no issues. I didn't feel any issues with the, with the traction. That's crazy. Now, what, what tires do you have on these? 275s? Nah, it's like 245, I think. 245, look at that. That's crazy. I thought 245 wouldn't be enough for a 5.7. I guess so. Up here. Yeah, Yeah, it's small. Yeah. That's funny because I felt more cramped than there. Yeah, I'm a big dude. That's the only problem with leather seats. You need that fart. <laughs> okay, so here, you got your drive modes. You can put Sport, Custom, Auto. We could put. Let's put custom first because I got it on um, everything on street, so it's the most comfortable. If you feel like you could hit it harder, we'll put it in sport and track. Cause it got the uh, the damping system. Yeah. So it's real soft, but when you put it in track, it gets nice and tough. It's just that the transmission changes and everything. You got um race options. Yeah. You got line lock, so it's, it blocks the front tires, and you can do a burnout. And you got launch control, and then you got shift light to put where you want the car to shift. 
and you turn it on, set shit like RPM and all that. Then you got the SRT um, performance pages. That takes a minute to load. That's good, I don't got none of that shit in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why a lot of people get confused. Like, yo, is this an SRT or is it not? I mean, they pretty much added everything you could get in the SRT. The problem is that it just doesn't have the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi. But I heard like in the in the RT, you could get the same shit from here, but it gotta be like 21 and up. Yeah, the new ones, you could definitely do it, yeah. yep. They, they started adding uh, a lot of different options because they, I mean, they just wanted to put everything in the same car. It feels normal, that's, right? Nah, that's not even like No, not at all. Yeah. I, if I put it in, let's put it in on. Um, in that mode, anybody can drive it. Yeah. You put it, let's, let's put it in sport. Real quick. You're going to feel the difference. Everything's going to change. It's going to be a little tougher. Yeah. The only thing is you're going to get to that point where the wheels start spinning. It feels like it's gonna get away from you, but it doesn't. Yeah. Like it's under control. I was expecting like a little bit, like more. Yeah, and you know what it is? If, if, if you're already moving, it's not gonna do that. But if you're at standstill, it's gonna kick you forward. And then it also depends on where the RPMs are at. Because the transmission is doing everything for you. Now, if you have a paddle shift, it's a different story. That's gonna be crazy. I say right here. Okay, hold on. Okay, now you're good. See what I mean? <laughs> is stiff yeah. so you feel the bumps more That's why I don't understand why they still make scat packs with 245s. It doesn't make any sense. It's just too much power. Yeah. It's good for sliding though. If you want to slide and do all that stupid shit, go right ahead. <laughs> Once you get like a past a certain point, yeah. it stops you like crazy. I'm not gonna lie, this is a better packet than, than the RT though. Yeah. The RT is for people that want to just like get a V8 yeah. and they can't really afford it. But it's still a good car. It's not like it's, there's anything to complain about. But. You know, if you want a Hemi that doesn't have the supercharger, this is the way to go. This is the sweet spot they always say. And then this power you can control. Like when you get a Hellcat and a Red Eye, hey, you gotta really know what you're doing so you don't fall into a ditch. Yeah, the first time I drove a Hurt, I took Hellcat. Yeah. I went to the filler, like I, I, I tested, and I, I came that. right right back. I just like went out right back. I was like, no, no. I'm not driving this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Bro. Yeah, I don't want to pay for something that I'm going to crash. Like, yeah, then I'm like, well, now you got to buy the car. You just got to weigh your way up. Yep, always. There's people that go from a Honda Civic with no mods. A stock Honda Civic and they'll go, oh, let me get a Hellcat. Now that I got a better job. <laughs> and that's, those are the people that be getting hurt. Yeah. Watch this guy. Watch both these guys. Oh, 
<laughs> Alright, so what do you think? What do you think? I think it was good. You got a lot for your money though. Yeah. It was good. I mean, power, so, yeah. You got a lot of like new stuff if you wear on 2021, you know? Yeah. It's different. A lot different. Yeah. I mean, it's different, but it looks the same. Like, people would, yeah. if people come up to us, they'll be like, oh, y'all got the same car. You know, because Dodge didn't change anything. You know, you got to know what you're looking at. Like, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. You gotta, you gotta feel like you got your money's worth. Always. Like, at least you got your Camaro. I don't. Yeah. You got like the seat that you can adjust it. The memory seats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then the um the suspension and everything you can change it up. That 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 that's also a thing. Brembo brakes. Like, yeah, Brembos. I don't. Yeah, I got the V6 brakes. That's yeah. what it comes with. Yeah. And you got a little bit more power, so. Yeah, like you, like I said, you can feel it. But it's not like, oh my God, this is so different. But you definitely feel it though. But for the person that gets this, always like, like I said, get, get a Hellcat, we're gonna upgrade. Yeah. For sure. But all right. All right, y'all, there you have it. Um, Fun day, man. I never thought I would actually enjoy driving the, the RT as much as I did. Um, I thought it was gonna be like, okay, I already been here before. I kind of know what this is. It's not, you know, the same, but it's actually pretty fun, especially because he had that um, exhaust that is just extremely loud. I wouldn't do it per se. I thought I wanted to, you know, upgrade the exhaust, but it, between the noise and the attention, I don't know if I want all that uh, dealing with tickets and things like that. But for those of you who want to get a V8 and want to get a Mopar, a 5.7 is pretty good. I mean, it's not. It's not what people say it is. It's not some like lame, slow car. It's, it, it, it drives decent. Um, it, it picks up pretty well. It's not the fastest car in the world, obviously. None of these cars are, not even the Hellcats. I mean, they take, it's really hard for them to pick up speed because they don't hook. But you want to have fun. You want to make noise. You want to enjoy a nice, big, burbly V8. 5.7 is a good choice, especially if you're coming from like a, a four cylinder, non turbo car, like it's, a no-brainer like you know don't go overboard and get a hellcat if you're going from like you know some regular four cylinder of the car now if you already have a 5.7 I, like i said you can always go get a hellcat or or a red eye um because going from there to a scat you're just gonna get disappointed you're gonna get used to the power really quick and i just don't think it's worth it at that point so uh just let me know, know what you guys think um let me know how you guys went about it uh if you went straight to a Hellcat from a regular car, or if you did get a, a Mopar, you started with the 5.7 or the SXT, and where did you go from there? Did you go all the way up to, to a Hellcat, Hellcat Red Eye, or did you not go to another Mopar at all? Let me know what you guys uh, did, what you think, um, how would you go about it, and let's get in the comment section and you know just have fun.